If you want an ISO demigod build that can shoot consistently, handle any rim runner in the paint, and can also dribble like a guard, then this is the perfect video for you. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video. We on the road to 5,000 subs without wasting any time. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, real quickly before getting into this demigod build, obviously I wanted an ISO build that can shoot anywhere on the court. I want to be able to finish at the rim and obviously defend like a lockdown. So this build is absolutely insane. Pay very close attention to everything I do as I'm going to explain every reasoning behind every attribute and every category. So starting with the position guys, we do have power forward. Now I do know a lot of people on their ISO builds are going taller, so do not be fooled by the position as this build can do it all. Then we get down, obviously that's personal preference whether you want to be right handed or left handed jersey number does not matter we are going to hit continue all right guys for the height we do have six foot nine now obviously i did want it to be a little bit of a taller demigod iso build this build can also be able to rotate into the paint and handle the paint as well so six nine was perfect for the height at the weight we have 218 pounds now this allows us to maintain an 80 speed while also having an 80 strength so that gives you a perfect balance you're not getting thrown around in the paint and you can also still move on the court as well with an 80 speed on the wingspan we went seven foot one now the reasoning behind this i wanted to keep the three ball at an 89 three ball so now that's going to give us agent three on gold if you guys have been playing agent three is a very broken badge it allows you to shoot threes from anywhere it allows you to stop and pop and also fade as well so that just adds another diversity to this crazy demigod build all right guys so moving on to each and every attribute on this demigod build on the close shot we went 47 driving layup we went 67 driving dunk we did go 80 now the reason I went 80 on the driving dunk is it allows me to secure all the safe dunks Obviously with safe dunks you are not getting blocked If you're trying to get highlight reel plays or if you're trying to catch posterizers You would want to go higher on the driving dunk But I assure you an 80 is all you need with limitless takeoff on silver As it allows you to get all the good safe dunks for the standing dunk we go with an 80 as if you go and on the iso and go to the rim you can stop obviously it does get a little cheesy you could pump fake you could finish a standing dunk or you can just go straight up with it so 80 on the standing dunk was perfect now pay very close attention guys as this is why i believe my iso build is separated from a lot of others obviously we want 74 on the mid-range shot that's gonna allow us to knock down those middies if we are isoing we do a step back if you have some separation you're gonna want to have a little bit of a mid-range jump shot so you are not missing your mid-range shots now for the three-point shot we went with an 89 like i explained this allows you to get gold agent three i believe that is the best shooting badge in all of nba 2k23 that is why i went so high on the three ball with this iso demigod build you do not need an 89 but with the ability to unlock agent three at a gold tier is very very important now on the free throw i went 67 i don't play much rec i strictly play park even with the 67 though you will be able to hit free throws if you have to so i went with the 67 as i did mention at the beginning of this video guys this build can do absolutely everything the playmaking is insane for being a power forward we have a 70 pass accuracy i put the ball handle at an 87 which allows us to iso up on the twos courts obviously you can play with a popper you can play with basically any position as you have the ability to be the primary ball handler as well as also working off the ball so with speed with ball i went to a 74 that allows us to have some speed while dribbling as well so that makes it a perfect balance between the ball handling and speed with ball. all right guys now moving on to defense this is very important you do not want to get pushed around in the paint this is a very physical game you're seeing a lot of taller builds especially on the twos courts so having the interior defense set to an 88 allows you to cover the paint if you're playing with a popper you guys can rotate around the court on the twos it's very 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 reliable in the paint so i went with an 88 for the perimeter defense we got a 77 that does allow you to cover the perimeter pretty well while also maintaining your interior defense for the steal we go 52 for the block we go 91 obviously that's going to help us with our chase down animations the chase downs are a lot less frequent this year than in the past so a 91 block is perfect to give you more chase down animations and allows you to cover the paint a lot better offensive rebound we got a 51 and a defensive rebound we got a 91 i obviously believe defensive rebounding is way more important as long as you guys are knocking down your shots offensive rebound should not be a problem all right so last we get into the physicals for the speed i have set it to an 80 now that is not the speed with ball that is strictly how you move around the court so an 80 does allow you to still move around 
on the court efficiently for the acceleration we have a 76 now for the strength i did go 80 obviously you want to have a higher strength in this game as i did mention is very physical in the paint with the interior defense set to an 88 and your strength being an 80 it's going to allow you to get a lot of good animations down low and help you in the paint for the vertical we do have an, a 70 i did mention the driving dunks an 80 so you do get all the safe dunks so you want to put the vertical at a 70 to make sure you ensure that you do get all those safe dunks that do not get blocked for the stamina i went 95 obviously that's going to let you dribble a lot more on the court and still be able to shoot i know you can use the badge to help you as well i will go over the badges in just a second but i went with the 95 stamina on this demigod build all right guys so getting into our takeovers on this demigod build we do have stuff blocks it has been a very op takeover in this game obviously like i mentioned it's very important inside the interior to be able to stop any big man so stuff blocks gives you the best animations and best chance of blocking any single person who goes to the rim for our secondary takeover i do have limitless range now that would help you with spotting up if you are playing with another iso player but you could obviously change this around you could go primary even shot creating if you wanted to if you're the primary ball handler it would not hurt but i chose this as this would probably be the most efficient takeover combination all right guys so moving on from takeover as you can see we have insane shades on the screen we have shades of draymond green shades of Giannis and shades of Jaron Jackson. So this build is absolutely insane. You have built a two-way face-up four. Crazy name. This build can do absolutely everything on the court. I will get right into the badges. All right, guys. So let's get right into the badges. Obviously, starting with finishing, we're going to go with the most obvious ones first. Limitless takeoff, you do want to max out. Fearless finisher, you can max it out at bronze. Giant Slayer gives you a lot of good animations while attempting layups. So I would go silver on that. It does not hurt to go slithery finisher. That also helps with the animations. And then last, I would put acrobat on. It does increase the chance that you making layups in the paint as well so now one important thing guys after you complete a quest in my career you do get a plus four badge attributes to any badge selection you choose i would put it on finishing for this iso build one one important thing for that is going to be posterizer you will be able to max out once you core that badge you will receive your five points back and then you could put bully on as well so that just adds a crazy aspect to the finishing on this build all right guys so now moving on to the shooting badges as you see we do have 21 badge points available obviously if we're going to be ice swing on the 6-9 demigod build we are going to be losing a little bit of stamina as we dribble more and more if you got a lockdown on you if you have somebody with really good defense you are going to want to put amped on this is a very good badge to help you shoot when you're fatigued and when your stamina has dropped so definitely put this on gold moving on i would put green machine on silver as obviously you don't need it too high this year i think silver is like the perfect balance so silver would not hurt agent three as i did mention is the most important shooting badge in this game it allows you to stop and shoot efficiently it allows you to fade it allows you to do absolutely everything when you shoot it always pops up so make sure to max this out as that is why i went with the 89 three ball at the beginning of this video so then now you have things to play with you got nine other badges to play with i'd go maybe gold on guard up would not hurt you can maybe even throw in volume shooter you could throw in clutch shooter play more if you're spotting up corner specialist if you're spotting up obviously it gives you a lot of variety it doesn't matter one main thing you do want to remember as you guys do get to the tier three badges you got limitless range that could become silver you definitely want to core these badges as well guys it's very very important now moving on to playmaking guys you are going to want to get a lot of these badges cored up handles for days is very very important to get cored so that will free up a lot more badge points for you to allow to put in other categories but handles for days would be the most important badge i would focus on coring while making this build now with the 17 badges available if we're putting them on the tier one and tier two badges first thing i'm going to do is put it on quick first step gold that's going to give you an explosive first step allow you to finish a lot more efficiently at the rim now vice grip on bronze is definitely a good badge it helps you secure the ball helps with a lot of fluky animations that allows you to lose the ball so definitely want to put this on at least bronze now needle threader is a very good badge at the moment the lane steals are pretty overpowered so needle threader is a good way to combat that i did put bailout on bronze as well that's something that's very important if you take a shot and you're very uncertain that you took the right shot and you want to quickly pass out of it it will save you from getting a crazy animation and from throwing the ball 10 feet out of bounds so definitely put bailout on hyper drive you can throw that on gold that allows you to get a lot more quicker dribbling so definitely helps you iso up on the twos courts or anything like that but like i mentioned definitely want to core handles for days as that's going to free up a lot more badge points for other things now guys moving on to defense we do want to throw glove on bronze we are seeing crazy animations tons of steals it's a very very good badge at the moment definitely throw glove on bronze i like menace max it does drop your attributes on your opponent if you're playing good defense very efficient badge to use as well now on the twos courts i would probably recommend 
recommend using silver pick dodger as obviously you're going to run into a lot of pick and roll while playing on the twos courts if you aren't playing iso so it's very important to have that on workhorse i did go gold it's a very important badge it helps you get loose balls it's a lot like hustler from last year so a very very good badge challenger you do want to put that on that's close to intimidator last year so definitely an important badge for contests and everything like that you want to put that on in case you're closing out on any three-point shooter now chase down artist is another very very important badge you're going to want to throw that on as well i would throw that on hall of fame not gonna lie it does help with animations you're not seeing a whole lot of chase downs this year so why not throw it on hall of fame and hope to get a lot better animations clamps i went with bronze and that's going to finish off your badges now if we're talking about coring badges out you guys are definitely going to want to core anchor that's going to give you six extra badge points and anchor is a very very important badge on maintaining paint defense and this is going to be one of the most important badges you're going to want to core and definitely do not forget it all right guys so that does conclude this demigod video i hope this video helped every single person watching i hope you guys enjoyed this build if you did enjoy this video drop a like leave a comment down below and make sure you guys subscribe we're on the road to 3,000 subs